Hello, Leo. Sun, moon, and rising. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to the month of November of 2022. Yes, thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Please keep in mind, Leo, <clears throat> that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is also a timeless reading. This doesn't necessarily have to resonate for you for the month of November. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. And if you would like a personal reading with me. I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I'll be more than happy to get you all hooked up. But while we're on the topic of personal readings, if you would like to potentially get a discount on your personal readings, then I invite you to check us out over on Patreon, patreon.com slash the divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below as well. That is a great way to support the channel, to get some extra readings with me throughout the month and and also to potentially get either a 10%, 20% discount on your readings or to get a $10, $10 off a 30 minute live session with me or a recorded freestyle reading plus all of the content that is now, has been, and will be in the future over on Patreon. It's a really great way. It's $10 off of a normal 30 minute freestyle reading, 30 minute live reading with me, uh, or recorded freestyle reading, plus all of the content on Patreon. It's a really great deal. But if you're interested in that, then I invite you to check that out as soon as possible because spaces for that tier are limited. Yes? All right, Leo, I'm gonna give this one more shuffle for you. Um, and already I feel like you are very confident at this time. I don't know what it is. Spirit is saying, you know, for some of you, you've, you've stepped into your power sufficiently. Um, you stepped into your true Leo hood, your true Leo ness. I feel like you're accepting parts of yourself, maybe even accepting parts of your reality that you may have been lacking of acceptance in in the past, may have been unable to accept in the past, may have really struggled with in the past. But recently you have... <clears throat> I'm hearing gone through an overhaul of emotional clearing, cleansing, and healing that is allowing you to step back into this space that you were previ previously in, but this time with a new mindset. I'm literally, like I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lion roaring at the top of, uh, of a mountain or a cliff, you know, very similar to, I guess, the Lion King, I guess you could say, but I'm just seeing a lion roaring with power with might confidence confidence is your big is the big word for you right now over confidence after having overcome a great deal of strife now that doesn't mean that you aren't still facing some of the same same things you were facing in the past but the thing about it now is you are seeing it from a very different perspective a very very different point of view this could very well be a um uh, uh, a hanged man i'm hearing king of wands yes that makes sense okay i'm hearing king of wands page of pentacles but also what i was trying to say there was the hanged man king of King of Wands, first of all, represents you um, in the court cards, typically. I mean, it could represent any fire sign, but um, you are typically represented as the King of Wands. Um, I'm also hearing Page of Pentacles for you because this is a new start to your reality. You may very well be building a new business, um, reshaping your business, business, or maybe revamping your physical life, maybe your physical finances. You may have made some sort of new commitment to yourself in terms of um, reshaping, rebuilding your life, your finances, your 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 career i heard your physical career okay um but then the hanged man was what started that because what i was picking what i am picking up on for you leo is um seeing things from a different point of point of view in a different light light having a different perspective now <clears throat> that is either enabling you to succeed or is setting you up for greater success in the future because you see your current circumstances in a from a in a different way or from a different point of view okay all right leo let's get into these cards what's going on for leo from november ha <laughs> ha look at this the knight of wands is the first card out and i just saw 444 on the counter here this is excellent okay first and foremost 
God source creator, the angels, your guides, your spirit guides, whom, whomever, whatnot, whatever, your spirit family, those on the other side that are really helping and encouraging you, you are so supported right now and they are so proud of you, okay? However it is you are feeling inspired to move forward, take it, own it, all right? You are really being encouraged to follow this new form of inspiration. For some of you, Leo, this Knight of Wands energy absolutely feels like what could be called or considered a new lease on life, um, new a new sense of new feelings of invigoration, um, excitement. I, I did hear continuity. Um, okay, and continuity meaning, I, I, some of you may really feel inspired to keep up with something, okay? Continuity is usually a, a, a term uh, it's a term I became familiar with when I was working in um, commercial film production work in the back and back in the day. Um, you know, you 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 know, you want to make sure you keep the continuity going. So you have to make sure that when you cut here and then you start the next scene here or or um, get the next angle in that same scene, you want to make sure everything is in the proper place. You want to make sure that the the the, <clears throat> the talent's hair is is the same, the makeup is the same, the set is the same. You know, you want to keep that that continuity. But if that's not necessarily hitting, then Google it. But there's inspiration to keep the continuity here or to remain congruent. Is that also, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just channeling, I'm just channeling at this point. But there is definitely, I feel like you are feeling inspired to keep the situation going, to keep your self-improvement going. However it is you are feeling excited or inspired, this new path that you're that you're walking this new torch that you're bearing maybe even this new message that you have to send to people you are feeling inspired to keep that going and to follow through with it really feeling inspired to keep up with it okay let's move forward what else is going on for leo here please spirit the eight of wands excellent your path forward is clear I'm also hearing is under control. And what I'm feeling with this eight of wands, Leo, is that you have a good plan of action. Even, even if that isn't necessarily a solid plan, the foundation, the energetic foundation within the inspired foundation, the, the inspired place that you are in, I mean, it's just, it's a good energy to be in. It's working well for you. It's going to work well for you. Okay, your path, excuse me, your pathway is clear. I'm also feeling like obstacles that have held you back in the past, maybe feelings, um, thoughts, um, habits, or whatever that may have held you back in the past are, have been cleared away. Again, this is also relating to this energy or this feeling of a new lease on life. A new sense of ability is also what I'm hearing for you here. However, whatever this means for you here, Leo, your pathway is clear. And I really do feel like you are going to be able to continue moving forward with this energy with ease, okay? It's easy for you at this point. Anything else for Leo? Let's get at least one more card for Leo, please. We have the five of wands. Anything else? The Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> All right, cool. You have the Five of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and then the Seven of Swords. But the Seven of Swords is reversed, Leo. Overall energy is the Seven of Pentacles. I just feel like you're in such an enthusiastic place to really have, achieve, receive, cultivate a beautiful, beneficial, and or better harvest. I... I just, I, I don't, I, I don't know. I'm looking at this, this person's face. I just, I can feel, I can sense the enthusiasm on this person's face. You know, I, I, I guess this is representing you, Leo. I, I, I feel like you're confident and you're enthusiastic about it. You're ready to break ground. You're ready to plant the seeds. You're ready to rejuge your harvest, rejuge your garden. 
you're ready, you're excited, you're determined to change your situation or to grow a, a new and better situation for yourself, okay? Now, the Five of Wands came out here. And typically the Five of Wands can represent arguments, uh, needing to work something out. It could represent conflict, external conflict, internal conflict. But even though this card came out upright, I feel like this is representing for you having worked something out. You've figured it out, Leo. And, and with that comes the Ace of Pentacles. There's that new seed, or that seed can be that can be planted, or the new path forward, the new commitment towards the path forward. I feel like you've figured out what it is you want in some way. Maybe for some of you, you've figured out how to go about it, how to achieve it, and thus the seed has been generated, or you have this new pathway forward, or you have this new um, thing, or the, the, you have this new commitment that you can make, okay? And then finally, you do have the Seven of Swords here. The Seven of Swords is reversed. This feels like what has been worked out, okay? It seems that there was some form of deception whether 11, 11 on the counter, whether you were lying to yourself about something where something was unclear to you, whether uh, or, or this was something external to you, there was something or someone that was stealing from you that was allowed to get away with something from, I don't know. The seven, take it as it resonates, but the seven of swords feels like some level of deception or a way that someone or a situation or circumstance got over all on you that has now been resolved. And because of that resolution, now you have a new, something new and tangible to create, to build, to grow, to develop. And then that's connected here to this Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is, to me as a reader, is that garden, that harvest that you ultimately want to achieve. I also feel like for some of you Leos, the deception here was you not understanding why a certain harvest wasn't coming together, why you weren't able to receive a certain level of achievement or a certain type of harvest that you wanted in the past. For some of you, you have figured out how you can fix that, how you can change that, how you can go about this in a new way to actually get what it is that you want. For others of you, you figured out that what you wanted or what you were working towards was not applicable to you, was not appropriate for you, was not something that you maybe you were even meant to receive or ultimately was not something that you actually really truly wanted. And there goes that eradication of the deception. Yes? Mm -hmm. Let's talk more about this five of wands here. Or Yes, actually, Spirit just said, let's do the Seven of Swords first, please. Okay, clarify the Seven of Swords in reverse for Leo, please. First card you have is the Nine of Pentacles. Something about standing on your own, something about your level of prosperity. The first thing that I'm feeling from this, Leo, is that there's a level of independence here. You may have been going after something that was not meant for you, that was not right for you. What I'm hearing is it's because you were following some sort of, some semblance of the status quo. And when it was that you stood on your own, you recognized your own intrinsic value what it is you have to give to the world. Some of you may be multi-talented, multi, where multi, well, we're all multifaceted, but, and multi-talented in certain ways. But I feel like for some of you here, when you truly accepted the fact that you didn't have to be pigeonholed or you didn't have to hold yourself towards just one thing, when you accepted your own sense of personal abundance and all of the things you were capable of, that's when you realized how you could go about gaining a better harvest for yourself. Seven of Swords in reverse, please, for Leo. Okay. Ah, and then the Queen of Pentacles. So, that, exactly, regardless as to how this may look for you here, and then the Emperor. Regardless as to how this may specifically look for you here, Leo, when you accepted your true worth, your true wealth, 
personal sense of wealth, your sense of abundance, your the, the richness of your character, um, all of the all of the things you are capable of. That's when this deception, this seven of swords here, was able to be released from your life. Really, the truly what I'm hearing and feeling from this, what spirit is repeating towards me is what you are truly capable of and is more than just one singular aspect. I'm being taken back to that energy of the seven of pentacles. Um, and that could be, you know, in a garden, you can grow many different things, right? Multifaceted, multi-talented, a jack of all trades, or maybe a jack of many trades. Overall energy is the emperor. There's something here, Leo, about accepting accepting your true individuality. I'm looking at the emperor and I'm feeling you being the master of your own domain and taking your own path, blazing your own trail. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, next, I wanna clarify the Five of Wands then. Let's clarify the Five of Wands for Leo, please. What's the Five of Wands for Leo? First card you have is the King of Swords. Yes, you figured something out. You worked something out for yourself from an objective point of view. Leo, the main feeling that I'm getting from this is accepting all of your talents. Instead of competing, because look, this, if you even look at this, this doesn't even look like the typical depiction of the Five of Wands in which you have multiple people kind of like battling each other, in, in essence, working something out. This looks like, and you do have, you know, multiple hands here looking like it's multiple people involved, but just the feeling that I get from the depiction on this card is that all these Five Wands or all of these five options, these five opinions, these five people, whatnot, whatever, are coming together to work together. There, you have found a resolution. So I feel like, Leo, there is a strong, the strongest thing that I'm feeling for many of you here is that you have allowed yourself to accept all of the ways that you are capable and find, and find and from an objective point of view, find a way to make all of those things work for you. Clarify the five of wands, please. Four of cups. but then the four of wands and judgment. Ooh, okay. Um, for some reason, Leo, it feels like you didn't want to do this. It feels like you were, re you were resisting your multifaceted nature. Clarifying the Five of Wands, you have the King of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Four of Wands. There, 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 there was something you were resisting. At least some other option, maybe multiple options that you were resisting here. But you got very real with yourself. You got objective with yourself and you realized that for many of you, I feel like you realized you were standing in your own way. And instead of standing in your own way about this any longer, instead of being at odds with yourself about this, instead of resisting this, you decided to come together, union, four of wands, to allow your multi multifaceted nature to reign supreme, to shine through. And ultimately you are going through a rebirth because of it, judgment. Judgment is that moment where you are resurrected, where you are cleared or uh, uh, cleared of your sins, whatnot, whatever, if you believe in sin, and you are purified again for then you to the next step is then to go to the is to approach the world which is that portal between the past and the future crossing from one moment into crossing from one cycle one situation one lifetime whatnot whatever and into the next purification okay next i want to clarify the eight of wands for you clarify the eight of wands for leo please Okay. Knight of Pentacles. Excellent. King of Pentacles. Excellent. Anything else for the Eight of Wands, please? For Leo? Okay. Two of Pentacles and Death. There you go. Overall energy is the Fool. There you go, Leo. Yes. Okay. So you are slowly but surely rebuilding your life. 
You are slowly but surely, Knight of Pentacles, step by step, Knight of Pentacles, uh, revamping your finances, um, just becoming more than who you used to be. Growing into a really financially stable, financially wealthy, jack of all trades, like just like a real healthy, grounded, stable, abundant, financially abundant individual. Slowly but surely, okay? You have been able, and this is because you have been able to balance the scales for yourself and transform. And thus, you are taking a leap of faith or you're moving on to the next situation. Having released yourself from the devil's grasp in many cases, to a pen, uh, I'm sorry, the devil. This is why, this is why the pathway is clear. Two of pentacles and death. You have been able to find balance in your physical life and transform through that balance. Uh, what I want to say though, Leo, is that, that that finding, having found that balance is what has transformed you. It's weird. It's weird. It's like they're, they're intertwined with each other. You found the balance and it transformed you, but also you were transforming and thus you found the balance. You know what I mean? Like that, <laughs> take it as it resonates. Um, uh, this is awesome, Leo. I love this. Okay, final thing I want to clarify for you is the Ace of Coins. Clarify the Ace of Coins for Leo, please. Uh-oh. What's this? The Ten of Coins. Wow. Going from the Ace to the Ten. But it's because you completed the actual cycle from the past that you are able to now start over, start anew with the, with the Ace. But I feel very strongly, Leo, that you are well on your way towards that Ten of Pentacles. And maybe the type of Ten of Pentacles you have been always looking for, but now because you have accepted more of yourself, you're able to finally really truly reach that Ten of Pentacles the way it's meant to look for you. Not the way it's meant to look for anybody else, Leo. This makes sense. You are a fixed sign. A fixed sign is the least comfortable with blazing a new trail. Some of you, this may have been your commitment to, co to, to tradition that has caused you to be held back in this way. Loyalty to tradition also. Loyalty, loyalty to the way things that have, have been done. Interesting, all right, Ace of Pentacles. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Leo, please. The Eight of Swords, but then Strength. Okay, you, Leo, this is you, all right? Really, what this is confirming here for me, Leo, is, um, or for you, really, is that uh, you have been able to sufficiently get yourself out of some sort of mental entrapment, mental imprisonment. Complete the cycle which is allowing you, excuse me, to start a new one, Ace of Pentacles. But I feel very strongly that this Ten of Pentacles has a double meaning. The first meaning is represented or is connected to this Eight of Swords energy, how you have been mentally confined, allowed yourself to, keep, to stay in a very small place mentally is what I want to say, small-minded. And I please don't take that, please don't take offense to that. I don't mean it in an offensive way because compared to where you are now, energetically speaking, I guess, the place that you were in right back then was very small-minded, very narrow-minded. But now you have sufficiently come out of that and that has provided you with a new opportunity, the Ace of Pentacles. But then also on the other hand, the, other, the double meaning to this Ten of Pentacles is the future for what this Ace of Pentacles is. Okay, a future that is much more applic applicable, Spirit is saying, a future that is much more applicable to you and your energetic signature. Take that as it resonates. Strength, you have come out of this way stronger. Way more capable. Derek. Sorry about that, Leo. Okay, let's get your closing message here. Yes, closing message for Leo, please.
Okay. Woo. Okay. Uh, overall energy, we're back to the fool for you, Leo. This is good. Starting a new process, taking a leap of faith. But then the card you have that came out, just one, it's the Page of Swords. An optimistic outlook is what I'm hearing here. Okay, keeping your eyes open, willing to see, willing to expand, willing to learn, willing to grow. Um, but also your closing message here, Leo, is just keep your eyes peeled. I'm not, I'm not feeling any danger and spirit is not really, is not really saying, whoa, you know, watch out, watch your back. No, that's not what we're saying here. Um, really, this feels like enthusiasm. This feels like enthusiasm to move ahead, to see the way forward, to, to do it. Um, just keep your eyes open. You know, you're taking a leap of faith. You're starting a new cycle. And I just feel, I just feel a sense of enthusiasm about this, Leo. There's really nothing to be afraid of or worry about, but spirit is just saying, as you're taking this leap of faith, stepping into this new cycle, this new process, this new experience, just keep your eyes open. But really the main thing that the, the page of swords is, is saying to me is enthusiasm. Feeling enthusiastic, optimistic, willing to see the way forward. I feel like there's also a level here of feeling excited to learn and to grow. Again, excited to see how things play out. This is beautiful for you, Leo. I really, I love this. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. If you'd like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I'll be more than happy to get you all hooked up. And check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below as well. That is a great way to, su to support the channel, to get some extra readings with me throughout the month, and to potentially get a discount on your personal readings. With that said, Leo, I hope you have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye. <laughs>